According to Yuga Labs, they will see us on the other side. <laughs> hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to lay down the reasons as to why I think this was the worst NFT drop ever and why Yuga Labs took a real hit on their reputation. So stay tuned. But before we get into that, this is Study Crypto, where we simplify crypto for the average investor. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, if you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Finally, make sure to ding those notifications, as a lot of this content can be time sensitive in crypto. So we try to bring the news out to you as early as possible. 430 was when Yuga Labs said that they will see us all on the other side. Minton was available for their other deeds. Their other deeds was pretty much a deed that could be transferred for a plot of land in the metaverse. Now, for those of you that don't know, Yuga Lab is a huge, huge, huge company valued in the billions of dollars at this point. Yuga Labs are the individuals behind Bro Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club. Recently, they have acquired CryptoPunks and in this other deed in their land sale is supposed to be an expansion for their ecosystem so that they could encompensate other nfts as well such as board eight crypto punks world of women and many more in conjunction with that they also release an ape coin the ape coin is their governance token and this governance token pretty much gives you access and rights and it would also be able to exchange for other nice goodies just to give a highlight of how insane this nft NFT drop was they were able to sell out these lands it was 55,000 available to the public they raised an estimated 300 million dollars in their metaverse real estate according to market insider this was one of the largest nft launches to date so with all that being said their mint was yesterday and it was a disaster many people were left crying <laughs> The consumers were left very, very unhappy, especially in their community, and there was a ton of backlash. Just to summarize the debacle of events and what went down, pretty much gas wars were astronomical. So, just to give a quick recap, in order to mint one of these other deeds, it costs you 305 eight coins. That was roughly around. 5,900 to 6,000, even probably 6,200, 6,300, depending on what time you get in, because the price of ApeCoin was either going up or going down. It was pretty volatile. But the crazy thing about it is that even if you had all of the ApeCoin in your wallet, even if you had a decent amount of money for gas fees, this NFT collection garners such traffic that it actually caused 172 million in gas fees this is money that is in essence wasted if this was actually put together properly this is insane as you can see right here this information is information that is on the blockchain you can check it out for yourself these are the top 50 gas guzzlers contracts and this was during the time of the mint 172 million because the gas fees were so high i'm talking about we had individuals that paid roughly 15,000 in fees 10,000 in fees 6,000 in fees 3,000 in fees 2,000 in fees so you had individuals that paid ridiculous amount of money for this other side deed and this is just ridiculous now of course if someone wants to pay that money fine and dandy that's on dumb but the problem is that the way the network works is whenever you go and whenever you submit your transaction if your transaction fails you still have to pay that gas fee so what a lot of individuals were doing is because they obviously wanted to get this nft because they know the future value potential so they came out they pretty much set their gas fees to be really high. And by doing so, now when they went through the mint, because other individuals have much higher gas fees, their transaction was just sitting in a pending vault. At times, it did not even go through. Me personally, I was pending for over an hour 
before my transaction went through. And when it did go in through, it simply failed and that money in gas fees was gone. So this happened to many, many individuals, meaning that many people just lost their money and they did not get any land. Now for those that the, it went through, good for them, kudos to them. If they wanted to pay that in gas fee, that's really up to them. And they ended up getting their other side mint. Well, their other side deed, which gives them access to the land in the future whenever they do a reveal. Yuga Labs could have done so much better. They could have done so much more. So let's get into the reasons as to why I think this was a horrible drop. Reason number one lack of communication on 425 2022 they release information about the other side mint now they release information stating that it would be on 4 30 at 12 p.m eastern and they put the website info and so on right the problem is following all the way up until 428 that is literally two days before the mint they released details about how this mint would go down. At that point was when they stated the price for mint would be 305 ape coins, right? The price of ape coin obviously started soaring because there was a lot of hype behind it, but you're not telling individuals anything. The whole week went by and two days before the mint, mind you, it wasn't early in the morning. It was literally on Thursday night. They released info, but keep in mind, ApeCoin is a new token. Many individuals don't have ApeCoins. So now you had a frenzy of people trying to go and trying to convert Ethereum into ApeCoin, trying to send it from certain exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. Some people in their Discord were super, super dissatisfied because they tried to send over ApeCoin and it just took too long. Platforms like Coinbase, if you make a large purchase, sometimes before that ACH kicks in, before your account gets cleared, to even be able to use these these tokens, you have to wait. Sometimes it takes three to four days before your bank even releases those funds. But anyways, at this point, I was still all for it. I was like, okay, listen, I have a coin, you know, what can you do at this point? Right? So let's move on to reason number two, why I think this was the worst NFT drop ever. They alluded the individuals and the community that there will be low gas fees. And I say that because they released an article and in the article, they stated the amount of NFT lands, which were 55,000. They also stated that originally they were going to go with a Dutch auction. For those of you not familiar with a Dutch auction is usually when the price starts out really high and then the price goes lower just based on demand and supply. But they were saying that Dutch auctions are pretty much BS. Look at that. It, I guess they weren't thinking clearly because what they ended up doing was pretty much BS to the whole community. So by saying that they were going to change the whole process, they stated that they would do things in waves. Let's read, guys. It says, Way 1, KYC wallets can mint up to two other size NFT during this wave, which is the first wave. As soon as gas returns to reasonable levels, the amount of users minting decelerates wave two will begin wave two was supposed to be really high where you can mint up to four and in this wave they pretty much stated that you know gas fees it will pretty much be a gas war because individuals could generally mint much more so they alluded that gas fees yes they were going to be high but they were going to be much lower the other deed mint will employ a follow-on mechanism. The sale price will remain flat for the duration. And at the start of the sale, there will be an intentionally low per wallet limit on the number of NFTs that may be minted. No, this is minted at once, but minted in total. Once the initial wave of relatively low gas transaction have been submitted and the network starts to calm, the wallet level minting limit will be increased to allow a second wave of minting. Those who are satisfied will sit this wave out while those with more ape coin to spend will mint. This pattern of mint bump limit mint bump limit will continue until NFT supply is exhausted. This approach is expected to prevent an apocalyptic gas war. Boy, were they wrong. 
while also encouraging a broad distribution as possible. Again, they alluded, right, by reading this article, it's right in front of our faces. They alluded that, of course, there would be a lower gas transaction fees. If you don't believe me, let's go even higher to the article. As the mint continues, the number of NFTs that can be minted per wallet will increase. Each increase in the wallet limit will be announced on the other side official channels. If a gas war still happens, it at least will not result in an insane amount of eat lost to fill transactions and hopefully the other dean mint will be one of the most widely distributed in history again they were wrong right because i say that because this was actually one of the highest nfts gas that most individuals have seen the highs that i have seen i mean ten thousand in gas fees fifteen thousand in gas fees that is just insane another thing that they did was they also push back the mint in time originally i stated the maintenance time was supposed to be at 12 p.m they actually pushed it back a full full 12 hours later why because they wanted people to go on their website and actually approve the ape coin contract by doing so this would pretty much lower gas fees and traffics later on so they actually alluded to the community that the gas fees will be lower and they kept doing that as well a lot of the moderators within their discord shout out to them because they did a really great job especially when there was all the chaos going on but you know, they also kind of were saying that, hey, you know, gas fees are going to be, you know, of course, an issue, but it should be something that wouldn't be as crazy. Right. There were multiple threats going on about gas fees. Again, no one really knew what would happen. Right. But I say that this was still a big drop on their end because you know that this is Board Ape Yacht Club. If you know this is Board Ape Yacht Club, why not prepare? There was a lack of preparation. Which leads me to my final reason as to why I think this was the worst NFT drop ever. No effort. There was no effort. So first things first, there was a huge KYC in order to get into this NFT drop. The KYC is pretty much know your customer and this KYC was thorough. I'm talking about you had to give your ID. You had to verify your address. It was really, really detailed where a lot of individuals did not even make the KYC. Now they did a good job with the KYC. It was open for an entire month. No one knew what the KYC was for. Pretty much a lot of individuals alluded it was for the land sale, but it was just speculation. Again, like I said, there was a huge lack of communication by Yuga Labs, so we did not really hear anything. Finally, now is mint in time. I personally think there was a lot of rumors going around that there were around 30,000 or 37,000 people who KYC. Remember, not everyone in the KYC is going to be able to participate based on the reasons that I stated before. Some people didn't have enough ape coins in their wallet some people weren't able to get their transactions to go through also some people just didn't have the money to participate in this this is obviously catered to a specific audience right so by saying all of that they already knew the number of individuals they had to kyc why not make it where is one one other deed nft per wallet as opposed to two right why not say hey we understand things are going to be crazy as opposed to making it two per wallet let's make it one per wallet you already have everybody's information you know who can participate and who cannot you could have controlled this properly or we have seen this with many other nft companies they could have done something where they could have had a whitelist a guaranteed minting period they could have had a guaranteed minting time period to state hey literally in the next five hours there's no need to rush there's x amount of individuals that are guaranteed to mint don't rush or you could have given individuals a 24-hour period right you could have given you could have done this so much better by just pretty much coordinating and the reason why I say this was the worst NFT drop ever is because Board Ape Yacht Club are the leader in this community, apparently, right? They're supposed to be the leader in this community. They're supposed to have the blueprint for the community. Many other platforms, many other NFT projects, because trust me, guys, I am involved in a ton of NFT projects, have done it right. Contracts have been optimized. 
you they have had time periods they have had guaranteed white lists they have had different waves multiple waves and waves in the sense that is enough time in waves in the sense that they may say okay right now we're going to limit it as opposed to dropping all 55,000 we're going to drop just 5,000 right and these 5,000 we're going to make sure that go to the first individuals that KYC to our list. The first individuals that KYC are going to be eligible. The rest are going to be eligible based on their waves, whatever is left. If it's only one NFT per individual, there's 55,000 plots of land. You know, the numbers, it's just math. All of this is sitting down and saying, okay, we have 40 or 50,000 individuals at KYC. Listen, everybody's going to be able to mint one NFT, give everybody a 24 hour period. If they don't, whatever is left goes to the public or such and such and such because what's the purpose of even doing that kyc what's the purpose of going in and having such a long kyc and such a thorough process for what it made no sense it made absolutely no sense and i do understand the process of what they were talking about when it comes in reference to the gas optimization a lot of individuals were saying on twitter hey you know you guys should have optimized the gas fees and i understand that that really may not have made a difference because remember if individuals are willing to pay a high gas fees they are going to be high gas fees transaction i feel like optimizing the contract the gas contract at least shows that you care about the community at least shows that you're trying right we see it with many other nft projects such as you know um salty pirate crews i've saw and seen it with v friends with this other company like so many other nfts have done it the right way they had a blueprint they had the the map right in front of them all they had to do was follow it and make it right for everyone right but it looks like they didn't even optimize the contract. And guys, did, we're talking about a company that's valued close to $5 billion. While Minton was going on, if it was such a disaster, if you're seeing Minton lasted around close to three hours. After hour one, if you see such insane gas fees, hour two, you see such insane gas fees, put out a statement. Say, hey, we're pausing Mint. We have to get this right or we're going to do something. We're going to stop it. We're going to do something, right? They disappeared. No one heard anything about them until after Minton was done, then they put out a statement saying that, oh, you know, Minton is complete, X and X, and we saw everything that went down. Oh, now we're going to try to fix it. Why not try to fix it while it was going on? This was super, super disappointing, and it, it really sucked because a lot of individuals that did the right thing that went through all these hurdles literally were left holding a bag. On top of that, there was such major issues with ApeCoin. Right afterward, ApeCoin started dumping. Then people couldn't transfer their ApeCoin. It was just a whole big thing. The community was just super, super, super upset and just super, super disappointed. This was a major hit to their reputation. As we can see, they even put out a statement right after. We know that the other D Mint was on parent unprecedented in his high size and high demand nft collection and that will bring a unique challenges the hope was that those challenges will be assured via rigorous gating mechanism in the form of an on-chain kyc a maximum of two per kyc wallet and a significant clearing price of 305 apecoin this has been the largest nft mint in history by several multiples and yet the gas used during the mint shows that the demand far exceeded anyone's wallet's expectation the scale of this mint was so large that ether scans crashed we're sorry for turning the lights off on ethereum for a while it seems abundantly clear that apecoin will need to migrate to its own chain in order to properly scale we like to encourage other DAO to start thinking in that direction right we like to encourage the DAO, not other DAOs. so right here they're literally just pretty much plugging their own chain that it looks like maybe they're probably going to come up with that in the future this is not the time for that at this time everybody's pissed off everybody's unhappy we are aware that some users have failed transaction due to the incredible demand being forced through Ethereum's bottleneck. For those of you affected, we appreciate your willingness to build alongside us. Know that we got your back and will be returning your gas. So again, they did a great thing, but I think they need to do more than just return gas. I think they actually remember right now they have 55,000 NFTs that were minted in total. They have a total collection of 200,000 NFT lands that will be available. 100,000 is going obviously with this sale, 
55000 included in that and also they hold reserve for their partners as well as those that hold BAYC and Mutant Ape Club. But I think they should do something for somehow in the future, try to compensate those that tried and couldn't get in. Maybe do another whitelist or KYC and have another sale. I don't know what can be done at this point, but they took a major hit to their reputation and a lot of people were just left feeling like this guy. There you have it. Thank you for watching this video. This is Study Crypto. See you next time.